Hello, boys and girls, and welcome to part one of reading today. Today, you're going to continue working on your book, Never Smile at a Monkey. Remember, we do not have this book to give you, but you can use the PDF um, if you would like to look at it more closely. You are going to start planning and you could start writing. We'll talk more about that later in part two. You're going to start planning an informative paragraph about what you've learned in this book. But for part one, you're going to explore with Mrs. Spears text features. And she's going to talk to you about two different text features. And I will share the cards with you that we have gone over before when we've looked at our text features so that you can review those on your own as well. But today you're going to look at text style. So the style or the type of words, um, the type of font or the type of size and color that the author uses. And you're going to look at something called an asterisk. You're gonna look at both of these text features with Mrs. Spears and decide how they are important. Remember, a text feature is something that stands out in an informative text. So listen carefully as Mrs. Spears walks you through this part one. What does looking at text features reveal to us? Here we go. In previous work, you began identifying the author's point and reasons and had an opportunity to write a conclusion. Today, you'll think more about text features and prepare to write an informative paragraph. But before we jump into our work for today, let's take a moment to review the question that focused our work for the text, Never Smile at a Monkey. And that question is, how do animals use their unique features in unexpected ways. And you'll be answering this question as you plan for focusing question task five. To get us ready for that work, let's look at the question that will frame our learning for today. And that question is, what does looking at text features reveal to us? One more time, what does looking at text features reveal to us? What have you learned about text features? Think for a second. What have you learned about text features? Share with your learning partner, and if they're not around, just share aloud. Text features are something different in the text that stands out and helps us as readers understand the text better. In the seahorse text, we learned about text features such as index and labels. And in what do you do with the tail like this, we identified the back matter and heading text features. Today, you are going to look for text features again. So you'll be looking for something in the text that stands out. Take a look at the title page of Never Smile at a Monkey. What do you notice about the text features on this page? Point gently to text features you notice. I wonder, did you point to the symbol that kind of looks like a star? I'm sure you probably did. The star-like symbol is called an asterisk. An asterisk is a symbol that tells readers to look for a note on another part of the page. The asterisk here tells readers to read more information here and 17 other important things to remember. In our previous video lesson, we talked about how the author's point was telling us to be careful around certain animals. How does this text feature with the asterisk give us more information about the author's point? I'm gonna ask it one more time. How does this text feature with the asterisk give us more information about the author's point? Share with your learning partner or just say it aloud. One thing that stood out to me that may have stood out to you as well is how the author has more he wants to tell us. 17 important things to remember. You may have also noticed that the word never was in all capital or uppercase letters. That's an example of text style. 
Let's see if we see something similar on another page. Look at this page. What do you notice about the text features on this page? And point to the ones that stand out to you. Remember, point gently. I'm sure you notice it on this page as well. I'm sure you've noticed how the word never is in all capital letters again. You might have also noticed that this text is bigger and written in a different color than the rest of the page. This is an example of text style. Text style is a text feature that highlight words through color or text or the type of text used, like using all capital letters here. I want you to think, how does this text style give information about the author's point? How does it grab your attention? The words that are in all caps draw attention to the word never. All capital letters make the word stand out. It makes those words seem important and let us know that we should pay attention to them. Let's review the new text features we discussed today. We talked about the asterisk symbol today, and we also found examples of text style like a word in all capital letters. The author used these text features to draw attention to important words and phrases. These text features help readers understand people should not bother these animals or they will get hurt.